Hey y'all, 2023 is around the corner. That means goodbye 2022, obviously. Um, what did you do for this year? Crazy? Has it been a crazy year? For me, it's been a crazy ride. It started off completely different in the beginning of the year till now. Um, I was still in school, graduated college, got a job. I could get into all of that, but what I really want to get into is talk about how how much so much has changed yet it feels like it was so long ago. And it's kind of hard to remember what kind of state of mind you were in at that moment and where you were. Maybe you were in a dark place, maybe you were in a better place, and now you're in the dark place. But it's really good and important that I found to really remember what you were doing. And even going back to July, when I first started doing this thing that I'm gonna be talking about, um, I was in a completely different state, um, not just physically, like where I'm at, what I'm doing every day, but just in my mind, where I was and thinking about, you know, my thought process of doing things, that the way I do things now is completely different. And why that is, is because I started journaling. Um, not gonna really go into too much about, you know, the nitty gritty of bell journaling and the benefits, and I'm not even gonna go about like, what is the stuff I've been writing about. But what, what I wanted to talk about is how in July, I started journaling because I was just in a place where I feel like I was not advancing uh, mentally, I was not advancing really in my goals. And when I would look back, I would realize that, yeah, I am advancing. And journaling, I, I guess for some people, that mainly men have like a bad connotation because it, it's probably like not the manly, manliest thing to pour your thoughts or pour your emotions into somewhere. For the most part on a daily basis, when you have no one to talk to and you, you just want to get that emotion out, it's good to do it here. And this isn't just, you know, to get your sappy emotions out. This is mainly to keep yourself accountable for things. On a daily basis or monthly basis, I keep track of what I'm doing and the goals I have set for myself. I have more than just um, how I'm feeling emotionally or how I feel, you know, my state of mind or state of being, but I have goals that I have for myself. Um, I have weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals, and I have goals that probably in 10 years will change, but right now at the moment, like, it's good to see where I'm at. Going through and looking back at, you know, the stuff I was writing down and the stuff that really helped me get to that next situation in life is really gonna help me get to that other situation in life. And I know it's kind of just a bunch of me rambling about journaling, but it's, it's just crazy to see how you can be in one spot six months ago and then be in a completely different spot and you can just have that gratitude because um, <clears throat> a lot of how I start my journaling is just gratitude like I said I'm thankful for this I'm thankful for that and sometimes that helps you to just start getting things off your chest off your mind and sometimes you know day's good so I'm just gonna be thankful for that sometimes day's bad and still being thankful for that bad day yeah, it just puts perspective into things. So that's something else that you get a lot of perspective about your life, about what you're doing, because even though if you are in a bad situation, um, a lot of the times you could probably still find beauty from it. There was a lot of times where I felt bad about you know, where I was at, but there's so much beauty in my life that um, sometimes it was hard to tell, but this gave me clarity about how much beauty there is in my life and how much good there still is. And it's, it's hard because guys don't really talk about I guess their mental health and, and kind of the gratitude that you should have in life. It's more about like putting your head down and work and if you're not where you're supposed to be or you're not where you want to be, it's your fault. Although that is partly true, you could still stop and recognize that even though you're not where you want to be, you're still somewhere great. This really puts into perspective, like right now, I'm in a way better spot than I was six months ago, but am I where I wanted to be two years ago? Not necessarily. Is that a bad thing? No, because my state of mind hasn't been this good since I was like, young, a lot younger than I am now. And now um, the year is ending. Now is a good time to open this up and read it. I'm really excited to see you know where I was mentally and the stuff. I mean, I know where I was physically, but mentally is there's some things in there that I remember, but not everything. And this thing is just, you know, I don't know how it's gonna make me feel, but that's gonna be for me, for me to read. And I just wanna say that now I have even bigger one for next year, cause this started halfway through the year, starting in July, this is gonna start from January. And if you are not journaling or not finding a place to keep your thoughts, um, I encourage you to do that. 
First, um, it started for me in the beginning of January. I started keeping my thoughts through this YouTube channel. I started pouring out stuff I wanted to do. And then I felt like there was some stuff I still wanted to get off my chest, but I mean, obviously I wasn't gonna share with people. It was just gonna be for me. So I decided, hey, let me try journaling. Let me put my thoughts into this. Put my thoughts down onto somewhere. And then a couple months from now, a year from now, I can go back and read it, which is what I'm gonna do. I haven't read the stuff on here since I wrote it. And the first, thing that I wrote down was in July, so even more excited to start this one. This one's gonna be a year of thoughts, a year of emotions, a year of struggles, a year of just everything that goes on in here is gonna try to live in here um, for one year. Um, journaling has so many benefits. Um, if you just go on YouTube and look up, you know, journaling, how to journal, you're gonna find so much help. And I'm gonna link down probably the YouTuber I watched the most when it came to journaling and trying to get better at this um, coaching of my mind because that's really what journaling is. It's not necessarily like a diary where you just write down your day or write down what's going on. You're, you're really coaching yourself, you're coaching your mind to just be better. And I know you're, that word is just thrown around so much, just be a better version of yourself. But what does that mean? And how do you coach yourself? Well, you know, journaling is that one thing that has really helped me do that and it's really hard for me to explain because I haven't been doing this for that long but like I said I'm gonna link down um, a YouTuber and a couple of videos that really helped me wrap my head around this and kind of help coach myself through a lot of tough times that I've been going through and now there's so many big things that I feel like I could do with my life in 2023 and being able to really verbalize my goals verbalize what I want out of life and what I want for myself has really allowed me to figure out that that's where I should be going, that's what I should be doing. But it started from here, and it started from, you know, clearing this guy up. Sometimes this gets cloudy, and you need to let it all out, you need to let it pour to have that sunny day. So, I hope that helped someone. Thanks for watching.